Hi there, I'm Kate from Caribou Farmhouse and Acres, and today we're making a lilac syrup. And then we're going to take that syrup and transform it into a lilac blueberry cocktail. So yesterday I had actually filmed all of this previously, and then when I was going through the footage this morning, I realized that most, if not all of it, was out of focus. So I'm just re-filming the steps right now to go over this part, and then I'm going to put it into and cut it into the video for after. When you're picking your blossoms, you want to make sure that you are picking the fullest and the most in blue blossoms. Next you're going to pick off the individual florets or you can pick them off in small clusters as long as you're making sure that you don't include any of the green stems. And I know when I was looking back I realized that I did have some green stems in my, my pot while it was simmering, but if a couple green stems is okay. It's not going to change the flavor of the entire infusion afterwards. So, but if you had left all the green stems on or if you had left like a majority of them on, it will make your infusion quite bitter. After you've picked them all off, you're going to put them through a mesh strainer or put them into a sieve to make sure that they're all clean and they're free of dust and free of debris. For your ingredients, you're going to need two cups water, two cups sugar, and four cups florets. First, you want to bring your pot to a boil, so you need about a medium-sized pot saucepan. You're going to bring it to a boil. And as it's starting, and you're going to dissolve the sugar within that boil. And as it's, uh, as all the sugar has been dissolved, then you're going to turn it down just a little bit to about a medium heat, and you're going to add your florets then. Once you've added your lilacs, and you've turned down the heat to about a simmer, you're going to simmer this for about five minutes. After five minutes, you're going to prepare a bowl. So I just had a big bowl, and I wrapped a piece of cheesecloth on top, and then I used an elastic to secure that cheesecloth, because then we're going to turn, we're going to pour our mixture in through the cheesecloth to kind of strain it all through, and then we're going to take that elastic and all the cheesecloth and tie it up into a big tea bag infuser. You'll want to leave this infuser in for about three to eight hours. And I left mine in for five and I checked on it every two hours to see that if the taste wasn't, was, wasn't strong enough or too overpowering. I pulled my infuser out after five hours and that seemed to be a really good amount of time for me. But everyone has a different variety of lilac and so the lighter your lilacs are, the more bitter they might be versus the darker they are, the more fragrant they are. So it depends on which kind of lilac variety you have, how dark your lilacs are, and how fragrant they are. My lilac syrup turned a little more green than I was expecting, and I think that's because I used lighter lilacs. It still had the taste, but the color just wasn't that deep purple I was looking for, so I just added some blueberries to give it that pop of purple. I've been collecting vintage glassware for our wedding next summer, so I pulled out some of my smaller coupe glasses to see if they look good with a cocktail in them. I chilled the blueberries and the lilac syrup before mixing them together and adding them to the glass. I topped it with champagne and garnished with some lilac florets. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so excited to share what we're doing here at Caribou Farmers and Acres. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because then it shows me that these videos are beneficial to you. And I hope that it sparks a little bit of joy during this lilac season.